Mount Everest, Earth's silent sentinel. Its icy embrace hides chilling secrets. Beyond the legends of conquest and bravery, there are unsettling truths obscured by time and ice, whispers of a darker side to the mountain. Join us as we uncover the most terrifying discoveries on Everest. Number 20. Chronicles of Maurice Wilson Maurice Wilson was a man with a unique vision. He wanted to fly a plane to the upper slopes of Mount Everest, crash land on the mountainside, and climb the rest of the way to the top. However, there were a few problems with his plan. First, Wilson had no mountaineering experience. For another, he had only 100 hours of flying experience, and Everest is notorious for its unpredictable weather conditions and strong winds. Nonetheless, Wilson was determined to make his dream a reality. In 1933, Wilson arrived in India, where he secretly purchased a gypsy moth plane. He made several unsuccessful attempts to fly to Everest, crashing his plane and injuring himself in the process. Undeterred, Wilson decided to approach the mountain from the ground, disguising himself as a Tibetan monk to avoid detection by the authorities. Finally, after months of preparation and setbacks, Wilson began his ascent of Everest. He had minimal gear and supplies, and he relied on a combination of faith and fasting to sustain him. Incredibly, he made it to an altitude of around 22,700 feet before his strength gave out. He perished alone in his tent and his body was discovered a year later by a British expedition. Maurice Wilson's story is one of the most bizarre and tragic in the annals of Everest. Some have called him a madman, while others admire his determination and single-minded pursuit of his goal. Number 19. The Mystery of Mallory and Irvine The tale of George Mallory and Sandy Irvine is one of the most enduring mysteries in the history of Mount Everest. In 1924, these two Englishmen set out to conquer the world's highest peak, determined to be the first to reach its summit. They were last spotted a mere 600 to 700 feet from the summit, but they never returned. Did they succeed in their quest, or did the mountain claim their lives before they could achieve glory? Mallory was no stranger to Everest. Having been part of two previous expeditions in 1921 and 1922, he firmly believed that the mountain could be conquered and was determined to be the one to do it. Irvine, on the other hand, was a young and inexperienced climber, but his skills with oxygen equipment made him a valuable partner. On June 8, 1924, Mallory and Irvine set out from their high camp, ready to make history. They were spotted by teammate Noel O'Dell, who reported seeing them climbing strongly and going for the top. But then, the clouds closed in, and they vanished. Their fate remains one of mountaineering's greatest enigmas. In 1999, Mallory's body was discovered on Everest's slopes, well preserved by the mountain's icy embrace. But Irvine's remains, and the camera they carried, have never been found. Many believe that if the camera is ever recovered, it could hold the key to solving the mystery of whether Mallory and Irvine reached the summit before meeting their untimely end. Number 18. The Scariest Day On April 25, 2015, a devastating 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Nepal, triggering avalanches and landslides on Mount Everest. This event would come to be known as the deadliest day in the mountain's history, claiming the lives of 22 climbers and injuring dozens more. Jim Davidson, an experienced mountaineer, was at Camp Wani when the earthquake hit. The ground beneath him shook violently and avalanches began to roar down the mountain's slopes. Davidson and his team were forced to take shelter as chunks of ice and rock rained down around them. For 11 days, Davidson and his team were trapped on the mountain, unable to descend due to the damage caused by the earthquake. They rationed their food and water, melted snow for drinking, and did their best to stay warm in the freezing temperatures. Davidson worked to help other climbers who were injured or separated from their teams. Despite the trauma and the real possibility that he might not make it off the mountain alive, 
Davidson refused to give up. He drew strength from his love for his family and his determination to survive. Finally, after a harrowing 11 days, Davidson and his team were able to descend to safety. Number 17. The Vanishing Snowboarder Marco Sifredi was a man who lived for adventure. A skilled snowboarder from France, he had already made history in 2001 by becoming the first person to descend Everest on a snowboard via the Norton Couloir. But for Sifredi, this achievement was not enough. He wanted to push the boundaries even further and attempt the impossible, descending the mountain via the treacherous Hornbein Couloir. The Hornbein Couloir is a narrow, steep, and highly dangerous route on the north face of Everest. It had never been successfully snowboarded before, and for good reason. The couloir is prone to avalanches, and its steep, icy walls leave little room for error. In September 2002, Sifredi set out to make his dream a reality. He climbed to the summit of Everest and prepared to make his descent via the Hornbein Couloir. But as he began his ride, something went terribly wrong. Sifredi vanished into thin air, never to be seen again. Despite extensive search efforts, no trace of Sifredi or his equipment was ever found. Some speculate that he may have fallen into a crevasse or been swept away by an avalanche. Others believe that the extreme altitude and treacherous conditions of the Hornbein Couloir may have proven too much for even a skilled snowboarder like Sifredi. Number 16. Frozen Time On the icy slopes of Mount Everest, time takes on a different meaning. At altitudes where the very air seems to freeze in your lungs, every second counts, and the difference between life and death can be measured in mere moments. It is here, amidst the snow and silence, that climbers have made a chilling discovery. Scattered across the mountain's upper reaches, frozen wristwatches have been found, their hands forever stopped at the instant when their owners drew their last breaths. These timepieces, some of them cracked and weathered by decades of exposure, serve as poignant reminders of the fragility of life in the face of Everest's unforgiving nature. One such watch, discovered near the body of a fallen climber, had stopped at precisely 2.23 a.m. Its owner, a young man from India, had been part of a team attempting to reach the summit via the treacherous North Col route. According to his companions, he had been struggling with the effects of altitude sickness for hours before finally succumbing to exhaustion and cold just a few hundred feet from the top. Another watch, found by a team of Sherpas in the spring of 2011, was frozen at 11.43 a.m. Its owner, a seasoned climber from New Zealand, was caught in a sudden avalanche while traversing the infamous Kumbu Icefall. Number 15. Diaries of Despair In the thin, frigid air of Mount Everest's upper reaches, the mind can play strange tricks. Faced with the prospect of their own mortality, many climbers have taken to pen and paper, recording their thoughts and feelings in the final moments of their lives. These diaries of despair often discovered alongside the frozen bodies of their authors, offer a haunting glimpse into the human experience on the roof of the world. One such diary, found in the pocket of a young American climber who perished on the mountain in 2005, contained a series of increasingly desperate entries. I can't feel my feet anymore, he wrote, his handwriting growing shakier with each passing hour. The wind is picking up and I don't think I can make it through the night. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I love you. Another diary, this one belonging to a Japanese climber who perished in 1996, contained a single heartbreaking entry. I am alone now. The others have gone ahead and I cannot keep up. The cold is unbearable and I fear I will not see the sunrise. Farewell, my beloved wife and children. I will wait for you in the next life. Number 14. The ominous crevasses. The icy expanses of Mount Everest are scarred by deep, treacherous fissures known as crevasses. These hidden dangers lurk beneath fragile snow bridges, waiting to swallow the unwary climber. In the Kumbu Icefall, crevasses can open or close in less than a day, snapping ropes and breaking ladders. 
even extensive safety networks installed by professional guides cannot prevent loss of life in this unforgiving environment. The danger is so great that crossing the Kumbu Icefall is considered one of the most perilous parts of the Everest climb. Falling into a crevasse often results in disappearance, with victims never being heard from again. However, the indomitable human spirit sometimes prevails, and rescues do occur. One such incident occurred on June 2023, when a Sherpa fell into a crevasse between Camp 1 and Camp 2 while guiding a group to the summit. A rescue mission was quickly launched, led by Gesman Tamang, a high-altitude mountain guide and professional mountaineer. Tamang lowered himself into the narrow fissure, attaching a rope to the trapped Sherpa's shoulders to pull him out of the icy abyss. These unsung heroes, the Sherpas, risk their lives not only to guide foreign climbers to the top of the world, but also to save their fellow companions from Everest's deadly embrace. Number 13. The Third Person One of the strangest and most mysterious experiences reported by climbers on Everest is the sensation of being accompanied by an unseen presence, often referred to as the third person. Numerous mountaineers have described this phenomenon, including some of the most experienced and respected climbers in the world. One of the most famous accounts of the third person phenomenon comes from British climber Frank Smythe, who attempted to climb Everest in the 1930s. During his ascent, Smythe reported feeling the presence of an invisible companion walking alongside him, providing encouragement and support. He even claimed that this unseen presence offered him a piece of mint cake, which he split in half and shared with his imaginary friend. Another intriguing account of this phenomenon comes from two British climbers, Dougal Haston and Doug Scott, who reached the summit of Everest in 1975 but were forced to spend the night in the death zone due to their late arrival. Huddled in a makeshift snow cave with no oxygen, food or water, and a failing heater, they feared for their lives. However, they suddenly sensed the presence of another entity, a guardian angel in the hole with them, emanating a warm and friendly aura. This mysterious presence not only provided them with a sense of comfort, but also communicated with them, offering words of encouragement and survival tips. Some scientists have attempted to explain the third-person phenomenon as a hallucination brought on by extreme altitude and lack of oxygen. However, many climbers who have experienced it believe there is something deeper and spiritual at work. Number 12. Attack from Sherpas For many climbers, Scaling the heights of Mount Everest is a profound and transformative experience, a chance to stand atop the world and touch the very heavens. But for John Griffith, a seasoned British mountaineer, and his two companions, their dream of reaching the summit quickly turned into a nightmare when they found themselves face to face with a mob of enraged Sherpas. The Sherpas, known for their incredible endurance at high altitudes, accused the climbers of disrespecting their traditions and breaking the unwritten rules of the mountain. What began as a minor misunderstanding quickly escalated into a full-blown confrontation, with the Sherpas gathering a force of nearly 100 men armed with rocks and sticks. Griffith and his friends, outnumbered and outmatched, tried to reason with the Sherpas, but to no avail. It seemed their fate was sealed until help arrived from Camp 2, led by Melissa Arnott, an American who had climbed Everest six times. Arnott, sensing the danger, warned the climbers to flee immediately. Heeding her advice, the battered climbers made a harrowing escape, leaving behind their dreams of reaching the summit but grateful to have escaped with their lives. Number 11. Wildlife Despite its reputation as a barren and lifeless landscape, Mount Everest is actually home to a surprising diversity of wildlife. From the elusive snow leopard to the hardy Himalayan jumping spider, the mountain and its surrounding regions are inhabited by a fascinating array of creatures that have adapted to survive in one of the harshest environments on Earth. At lower elevations, the forests and valleys around Everest are home to a variety of mammals, including the Himalayan black bear, 
the red panda, and the musk deer. These animals rely on the dense vegetation and relatively mild climate of the region to survive and are rarely seen at higher altitudes. As one climbs higher up the mountain, however, the wildlife becomes more specialized and adapted to the extreme conditions. The Himalayan Tahur, a type of wild goat, is often spotted on the rocky cliffs and ledges of the mountain, while the Himalayan marmot, a large rodent, burrows deep into the snow to escape the cold. Number 10. Strange Sounds As the sun sets over Mount Everest, an eerie silence descends upon the mountain. But for those who dare to spend the night on its icy slopes, the stillness is soon shattered by a series of mysterious and terrifying sounds that echo through the darkness. Some climbers have described the noises as a deep, guttural moaning, like the sound of a wounded animal crying out in pain. Others have reported hearing sharp, piercing cracks and booms as if the mountain itself were splitting apart at the seams. For the local Sherpas, these strange sounds are a source of great fear and superstition. Many believe that the noises are the cries of angry gods or the wails of tormented spirits trapped forever on the mountain's unforgiving slopes. But scientists have a different explanation. They believe that the sounds are caused by the extreme temperature changes that occur on Everest, which can cause the ice and rock to contract and expand rapidly, creating a series of sharp cracks and pops that can be heard for miles around. Number 9. The Polluted Mountain As the number of climbers attempting to reach the summit of Mount Everest continues to rise, so too does the amount of waste and pollution left behind on the mountain. From discarded oxygen bottles and abandoned tents to human excrement and garbage, the once pristine landscape of Everest is now littered with the detritus of decades of climbing expeditions. One of the most pressing concerns is human waste. With no proper sanitation facilities on the mountain, climbers are forced to relieve themselves in the open, often leaving behind piles of feces and urine that can contaminate the snow and ice. The spring 2023 climbing season at Everest Base Camp generated 75 tons of waste, including 45,000 pounds of human waste. This not only poses a serious health risk to other climbers, but also threatens the delicate ecosystem of the mountain and its surroundings. In recent years, efforts have been made to address the waste problem on Everest, with the Nepalese government and various non-profit organizations working to implement new regulations and cleanup programs. Climbers are now required to carry their own waste disposal bags and bring them back down the mountain for proper disposal, while teams of Sherpas and volunteers work to remove the tons of garbage and debris that have accumulated over the years. Number 8. The Remnants The icy slopes of Mount Everest hold more than just the dreams and ambitions of modern-day climbers. Scattered across the mountain's rugged terrain are remnants of a bygone era, hints of the explorers and pilgrims who may have ventured here long before the first recorded summit. In the 1920s, a British expedition discovered a series of ancient wooden stakes embedded in the rock near the mountain's base. These stakes, which were found at an altitude of over 20,000 feet, have been dated to be several hundred years old. Some experts believe they may have been used as markers or anchors by early climbers, while others suggest they could have had religious or ceremonial significance. Even more intriguing are the ornate bronze statues and meticulously stacked stone cairns that have been found at various points on the mountain. These artifacts, which are believed to be of Buddhist origin, raise tantalizing questions about the spiritual significance of Everest to ancient peoples. Could the mountain have been a sacred site, a place of pilgrimage for those seeking enlightenment or spiritual awakening? Number 7. Disc-Shaped UFO in 2012, filmmaker and mountaineer David Breesiers set out to create a stunningly detailed photograph of Mount Everest and its surrounding peaks. Using a specialized camera rig and a helicopter, he captured more than 400 individual images, which were then stitched together to create a single, ultra-high-resolution photograph. 
The resulting image, containing over 2 billion pixels, was a marvel of modern technology. However, when the photograph was closely examined, a strange and unexpected detail emerged. In the sky above Everest, a small, dark shape could be seen. It appeared to be disc-shaped and was clearly distinct from the surrounding clouds and sky. Some observers immediately speculated that it could be evidence of extraterrestrial activity in the Himalayas. The UFO theory gained traction when it was pointed out that the region around Everest has long been a hotspot for reported UFO sightings and other unexplained phenomena. Some even suggested that the mountain could be home to a secret alien base, hidden away from human eyes. However, skeptics argued that the strange shape in the photograph could have a more mundane explanation. It could have been a bird or a piece of debris caught in the wind, or even an artifact of the complex image stitching process used to create the final photograph. Number 6. Marine Fossils The summit of Mount Everest is a place of unimaginable extremes. However, amidst the snow and ice of Everest's peak, a surprising discovery has been made. In 1924, a British expedition discovered a series of strange, shell-like fossils embedded in the rocks near the summit. These fossils, which were later identified as the remains of ancient marine creatures, provided a tantalizing clue to the mountain's distant past. Further investigations have revealed that Mount Everest, and indeed the entire Himalayan range, was once part of a vast ocean floor. Around 50 million years ago, the Indian subcontinent began to collide with the Eurasian landmass, causing the ocean floor to be pushed upward and compressed into a series of towering peaks and ridges. As the mountains rose, the ancient marine life that had once thrived in the warm, shallow waters of the ocean became trapped and fossilized in the rock. Today, these fossils can be found at altitudes of up to 20,000 feet or more, a testament to the incredible forces that have shaped the Himalayas over the course of millions of years. The presence of marine fossils on Everest also highlights the incredible journey the mountain has taken over time. From its humble beginnings as a sediment-filled seabed to its current status as the highest point on Earth, Everest has undergone a transformation that is almost beyond comprehension. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The new terrifying discovery in the Mount Everest that scares scientists. Mount Everest bears the remains of individuals who tragically lost their lives during their expeditions. The frigid temperatures preserve their bodies creating a haunting landscape. In 2013, two Russian climbers braving extreme weather reported a bizarre encounter. According to their account, they started their ascent after an avalanche and, upon reaching approximately 27,000 feet, saw several women dressed only in swimsuits standing amidst the ice. Shocked by this unsettling sight, their astonishment grew as a sudden storm swept in, encasing the women in snow. The climbers wisely retreated to save their lives. What could this be? Was this a hoax? A prank involving mannequins somehow transported to that extreme location? It seems implausible for someone to carry mannequins to such a dangerous altitude. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. The Zone of No Return At an altitude of 26,000 feet above sea level, the oxygen content in the air is so low that the human body begins to shut down. This is the infamous death zone of Mount Everest, a region where even the most experienced climbers struggle to survive for more than a few hours at a time. Known also as the zone of no return, this brutal environment is where most of the fatalities on Everest occur. The air is so thin that even with supplemental oxygen, Climbers can experience severe headaches, nausea, and disorientation. The extreme cold and high winds can cause frostbite and hypothermia in a matter of minutes, and the risk of avalanches and falls is ever-present. But despite the dangers, the allure of reaching the summit continues to draw climbers from all over the world. For many, the chance to stand on the roof of the world is worth any risk, 
and they will push themselves to the very limits of their endurance in pursuit of that goal. Number 4. Ghosts of Everest For decades, Mount Everest climbers have reported strange and unexplained phenomena that defy rational explanation. From ghostly figures appearing in the darkness to disembodied voices calling out from the wind, Everest has no shortage of eerie and unsettling tales. Some attribute these occurrences to hallucinations brought on by altitude sickness or extreme exhaustion, but others believe that the mountain is truly haunted by the spirits of those who have perished on its slopes. One of the most well-known ghost stories associated with Everest is that of Andrew Irvine, who disappeared along with George Mallory during their ill-fated summit attempt in 1924. In the years since their disappearance, numerous climbers have reported seeing a lone figure dressed in vintage climbing gear wandering the upper reaches of the mountain. Some believe it is Irvine's ghost still searching for his lost partner. Other climbers have reported hearing strange sounds on the mountain, including the clang of ghostly pitons being hammered into the rock and the mournful wail of a woman's voice. Some have even claimed to feel the presence of unseen companions walking alongside them, particularly in the treacherous Kumbu Icefall. Sherpas, who have a deep spiritual connection to the mountain, believe that the ghosts of Everest are the restless spirits of climbers who died without receiving proper burial rites. They perform religious ceremonies and make offerings to appease these spirits, hoping to ensure safe passage for those who still dare to climb the mountain. Number 3. Yeti Footprints The Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, has long been a subject of fascination and mystery for those who dare to venture into the Himalayas. This elusive creature is said to roam the snowy slopes of the world's highest mountains, leaving behind tantalizing clues of its existence. In 1951, Eric Shipton, a renowned mountaineer, stumbled upon a set of unusual footprints while exploring the Menlung Basin on Everest. These tracks, measuring around 13 inches long and 8 inches wide, were unlike anything Shipton had ever seen before. He took photographs of the prints, which quickly became famous and sparked a debate that continues to this day. Some experts believe that the footprints could belong to a previously unknown species of bear or other large mammal. Others, however, are convinced they are proof of Yeti's existence. Over the years, numerous expeditions have been launched to search for the creature, but conclusive proof remains elusive. In recent times, advancements in DNA analysis have offered new hope in the quest to unravel the mystery of the Yeti. Hair samples and other biological evidence have been collected and studied, but the results have been inconclusive, with some suggesting that the samples may belong to bears or other known animals. Number 2. Green Everest – The New Terrifying Discovery In the Mount Everest that scares scientists. In recent years, a strange and unexpected phenomenon has been observed on the slopes of Mount Everest. At elevations where once only bare rock and ice could be found, small patches of vegetation have begun to appear, clinging tenaciously to the mountain's rugged surface. These tiny oases of life are primarily composed of hardy shrubs and grasses, species that have adapted over time to survive in the harsh, unforgiving conditions of the high Himalayas. Some of these plants, such as the Himalayan Edelweiss and the Tibetan Snow Lotus, are found nowhere else on Earth. The sudden appearance of vegetation on Everest is a clear sign of the changing climate in the region. As global temperatures continue to rise, the glaciers and snow fields of the Himalayas are beginning to melt at an alarming rate. This, in turn, is exposing new areas of bare rock and soil, creating opportunities for pioneering plant species to take hold. While the presence of vegetation on Everest might seem like a positive development, it is actually a cause for concern among scientists and environmentalists. The delicate ecosystem of the Himalayas is finely tuned to the harsh, cold conditions that have prevailed for millennia. The introduction of new plant species could upset this balance, with potentially devastating consequences for the region's wildlife and water resources. Moreover, 
the growth of vegetation on Everest is a clear indicator of the rapid pace of climate change in the Himalayas. If current trends continue, it is likely that even more dramatic changes will occur in the years and decades to come, with potentially catastrophic impacts on the millions of people who depend on the mountains for their livelihoods and well-being. Number 1. Himalayan Goral Beneath the towering, snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas, where the terrain turns unforgiving, a resilient creature makes its home, the Himalayan Goral. This small, goat-like animal thrives in the mountains of Nepal, Tibet, and India, clinging to slopes near the tree line of mighty Mount Everest. At first glance, the goral might be mistaken for a small deer or a long-legged goat. However, upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that this animal is a unique species all its own. The goral has a stocky build with short, powerful legs and a thick, woolly coat that helps it to withstand the harsh mountain climate. One of the most distinctive features of the goral is its peculiar horns. Both males and females have a pair of short, conical horns that curve slightly backward, giving the animal a somewhat impish appearance. The horns are used primarily to defend against predators like snow leopards and wolves. Despite its rugged appearance, the goral is a surprisingly agile and sure-footed creature. It can easily navigate the steep, rocky slopes of its mountain habitat, leaping from ledge to ledge with incredible grace and precision. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.